Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of On the Mic with Mike. I am your host, Mike Larkin. You guys can check out On the Mic with Mike on SoundCloud.com, says MCLarkin92, and StephenMikeShow.com for all your various SM Show podcast network needs, pop culture, On the Mic with Mike, etc., etc. And I am pleased to have on this edition of On the Mic with Mike the beautiful, the amazing Miss Lily, Miss Arab. Lily, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. How are you? Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm great. Uh, I am a little bit nervous. <laughs> ah, it's okay. I'll be honest. It's fine. The nerves happen. But I got to say, first and foremost, today's show is all about you. And it's really about encompassing and capturing all the work that you do and the beauty, strength, and dominance that you and all women exude. Thank you so much for having me, Michael. Let's, uh, uh, I'm very excited. Okay, you're very welcome. Well, first and foremost, let's start from the beginning, and then we'll work our way into your career here. Talk us about getting into the adult entertainment industry, because, I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into it from the modeling aspect, which we'll dive into, but I'm curious how you got into the adult entertainment industry. Yes, well, um, in 2012, I um, started webcamming, uh, doing webcam shows. Um, I was, um, at the time, I was a college student and um, uh, I was studying Dutch law and uh, I quickly realized that it wasn't for me Um, and um, it's a very long story but um, one day um, we had all those uh, lawyers talking about their career and I, I that was the moment that I realized this is absolutely not for me and um, and then I uh, start looking for other things. And um, a friend of mine told me about webcamming, and I was I got so excited by the whole idea that just complete strangers watch you get a giving an erotic show that I thought I have to try this. This is so exciting and amazing. And uh, the same year, I also went to fetish parties. So I was exploring more uh, my sexual side. And um, so I tried it, and I was I was so hooked on the, um, uh, on giving the show, entertaining people, at the same time enjoying myself, everybody's happy. Um, and it's so exotic and erotic. It... it I was blown away. So I started doing it more often. And I realized that's the thing that I want to do in 2012. That's a long time ago. And um, in uh, 2017, I decided that it was time to... I, I realized that I was also interested in making videos. So I started making more videos and more videos with um, themes and... Um, dancing, erotic dancing, uh, and um, in last year, I um, decided to uh, uh, um, get in touch with other uh, women in the industry and shoot content with other people, with other girls, and um, it has been an amazing journey, I have to say. I am so happy that I took the step um, to start making content with other people um, because um, you learn so much from each other and um, you get this very uh, intimate relationship with the performance you perform with. Um, I'm very good friends with all the performers that I work with. I learned from all of them different things, and um, I will definitely uh, look them up and try to do more content with them. Um, yeah, and also uh, there is another uh, aspect of um, getting into the industry is that um, you learn so much um from um it's not only the show and the entertainment that you are learning through the years it's also the technology you uh, learn and learn more about the editing for uh, for example uh, last year i um um 
uh, did some courses on how to edit videos on LinkedIn. And um, because of that, I started uh, this year um, to um, get more knowledge about how to edit videos. So that has been also an amazing thing to learn. So yeah, it's it, I, I can talk for hours. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Please. I didn't want to interrupt. You're giving a great synopsis, but I got to say this about you. First and foremost, do not be ashamed to talk. This is all yeah. about you. So you said that beautifully. I will actually add on to that because you said it so so nicely. Like you talk about being in the lawyer field, and I'm going to say this right now because I can actually relate to that because there was a time, I'll be honest with you, 2010, I graduated high school, right? I decided, okay. you know what? I might want to do college. So I went to the college and I'm like, you know what? It's not for me. What I wanted to do was go straight into the work field. And I worked in market research for a good eight years. And then I focused more on the podcasting. And here we are today. So, I mean, not everything is for everybody, but as long as you try it, I mean, you tried out the lawyer aspect. And I'm going to say from lawyers, you talk about objections. We're not talking about Shakira objection, but you go from the lawyer aspect and then you explore yourself. You find yourself as a person. And that's totally fine because if anybody says anything, you know what I'm saying? They say, lay the hammer down you lay the hammer down in a different way from you know the overall voluptuosity factor that you ensue that you and you know that you have all about you but it's one of those things where you know you got to you don't try until you know and i mean you mentioned greatly learning editing i gotta say you're a very intelligent woman and it shows within your themes and how you approach the industry thank you so much yeah i um i think that um i learned a valuable lesson in life that you don't be scared to try the things that you think you like or or whatever just try it don't be scared even if people make fun of you people think something ridiculous if you think that you like something do it on your own first or we have the internet i mean this is such an amazing thing we have the internet the knowledge is is out there <laughs> you only have to go out and Learn it. You know what I mean? Of course. The so, internet's right at your fingertips. And I don't mean to cut you off, but the internet's right yeah. at your fingertips. And you were talking about 2012. And I'll be honest with you. God dang, eight years ago, you're pursuing this. You're talking about 2017. Like for me, yeah. it's the internet right at your fingertips. And it really shows within your films. And we're we're so you know accustomed to stuff now with internet related. You know, everything's about social media. So it's great to see how technology has advanced over the years. Mind you, there's pros and cons to everything. But from this yes. particular standpoint, like I'll be honest with you you as a kid like I was 13 years old when I first you know it's it's puberty people you know the hormones are raging it's the early <laughs> teens and you know where I'm going with this like we yeah. find about adult films and we find out about pornographic material whether it be through websites whether it be on late night movies at like two or three in the morning on show Don's friggin' <laughs> but it's yeah, one of yeah, those yeah. things where we you know we adapt to things and I got to say this about you like Everybody has it. Everybody has that side of them. Everybody has that uniqueness about it. And I mentioned the voluptuosity factor. And I mentioned the three key elements of beauty, strength, and dominance. Like, that's just my mindset. You know, beauty, strength, and dominance, the three key elements that make women the yeah. work part that they are. My mother, my grandmother, my big two, my two biggest influence. So the respect that I have goes a long way. And I got to say, I got to respect you for what you're doing. Thank you. It, it's, um, you have to be, uh, to do this to do webcaming, I think the most challenging thing is the um, what uh, to be strong and to know for sure that this is the thing you want to do. So if you want to start webcaming or just put uh, erotic content on the internet, sit down and write down the pros and cons, and then look at the uh, the, the 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 cons. If you think that you can live with the cons, like for instance. People will recognize you. People around you will be negative about it. Can you deal with that? Are you a strong person to be to be able to deal with that? And if your answer is yes, then get in, then do it. You know what I mean? If you think if you having if you you if you're not sure, but you want to try it, there are ways you can you can do it without showing your face. I mean I. The first time I did it, I didn't show my face because I wasn't sure that this is a thing for me. And I also read the whole contract that I, that that uh, I was getting into on the website. So if I if you uh, leave the website, what will happen to the material? 
that they that that's uh, recorded on the website or uh, distributed through the internet will it be removed you have to know all those things before you um, uh, before you um, subscribe or just get uh, in before you um, sorry I uh, Oh, forget no, the words. Before, before you subscribe, <laughs> yeah, 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 and, and see yes. the content. Go ahead. Yes, exactly. So, um, uh, know what you're doing. That's the most important thing. Um, I have to be honest with you about social media. It took me, I think, in maybe 2017 or 16, I started. I I made it my my Twitter. I'm not 100 percent sure. Twitter and Instagram, um, because I wasn't sure that I wanted to go on mainstream. So it took me some time and it's okay to take your time. It, if you're not sure about something, take your time, be 100% sure that that's the thing you wanna do and then do it or don't do it, you know? So um, yeah, oh, no, that's you my advice. Like no, oh, no, you said it great. I'll be honest with you. First and foremost, I'm going to say this right now. As far as social media goes, I didn't get on until 2010 when the Facebook was the rage, you know, as yeah. we social networking uh, days. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, I didn't want it, but I get it because, you know, we have to have it for our, you know, to promote ourselves, self-promotion, what have you. And that, that's a pro about it. But I understand. And patience is a virtue. So, you know, take your time with it. Absolutely. And I got to yeah. say this about you when you're talking about like there's pros and cons about webcamming that you mentioned. But for me, like, I'll be honest with you, I was never the camera, but I'll, I get it from what the standpoint you're doing from the modeling aspect and getting into the industry. And I also got to say this first and foremost, you could do it where you don't have your face show and you could do the body there's very various avenues and various variables that you have about the overall thing that is webcamming and i gotta say for you i mean i've said this earlier and i'll say this again you're a beautiful human being i cannot just tell by the physical appeal you got that passion you got that heart so there's a lot of attributes about you that people will enjoy yeah thank you um i think that's the thing that people like when they um uh, visit my cam shows is i am a very happy person I like making people happy on them because when I make people happy, they make me happy back. So it's like a two way street yep. <laughs> and all the compliments. I, I don't really care about the compliments because I think everybody is, everybody's beautiful and everybody has this amazing aspects about themselves that they share with others. So, um, I keep my cam shows light and happy and erotic, but sometimes it's so much fun, Michael, because everybody, I laugh my ass off on my, on my, on my show. And then I get like a visitor and he said, Oh, you're laughing again. It, it's always like a party in my, in my show. It's like, um, so even with the whole, uh, the last couple of months with the corona and everything i try to uh, give a, like a very positive happy vibe and um i think that's my strong uh strong, strong suit yep yes so um it's not only about sex it's a combination that's that's my that's my um that's that's how i see it it's a combination of uh, positiveness, happiness, and um, erotic show. <laughs> and, yeah, you stay positively proactive, and I think that's great because you have to laugh during these times of what's going on with COVID. You have to, you know, put a smile on people's faces and you know stay positive and entertain the people. And I'll be honest with you, I've seen some of your cam shows. I'm invested, not just because again you mentioned like the sexual nature and the erotic nature, but it's just you as a whole. I also kind of compare it to like look at dating, for example. When you look yeah. at certain aspects of a certain individual, whether it be a woman or a male, depending on what have you, vice versa, different different sex, uh, very significant others it's one of those things where you're investing your time and energy not just into the comment content but the overall people that is in said content it also could apply with how you view your dating skills your preferences and what you like whether it be from a physical standpoint and an emotional standpoint yes you yeah you bring a personality when you're online at the beginning of my uh 2012 at the beginning when i started i didn't want to share a lot of me with with because as i said it for me it 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 was very gra uh, it was a process 
And uh, at the beginning, I didn't want to share my personality. So I sat down and I played and <laughs> I logged off and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then I, I thought, okay, this is this is so like so boring. It's boring for the people probably, but it's also boring for me. And so I started having more conversation with with everybody because um, um, when you do this, you get to know people, but you also get to know um, um, how mu how much um, sexual uh, preferences, fetishes are out there and that's that's also something that uh, started fascinating me um, and uh, I started doing domination and um, and, and then I um, discovered something about myself because of my fans I started uh, uh, squirting and my first time was my first time I squirted was online so that that's something I will never forget. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah now I am the I they know that when somebody visits me and 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 I always have like this naughty voice inside me it's like oh he's gonna be so surprised when I start squirting <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I I I I love I love giving a show it's it's so I am so lucky that I can do this you know Michael and uh yeah, you're an entertainer. You are, and I gotta say this. And I'll be honest, a lot of guys like watching the squirting aspect. So I mean, you got something there because a lot of people like that different preferences. And like you mentioned, dominatrix. Some people like you know watching whip. Some people like seeing you know women being dominant over men. So there's a lot of different preferences. Like you mentioned, like like the fetish con. There's so many different ways that people are into said fetishes and whatnot. And it's really it's a unique variety, and it provides a great content for the people like we mentioned. But you see, I can understand that because I mean a lot of things that go into said industry whether it be from the webcam side, the modeling aspect, going into said scenes. It's one of those things where it's all about confidence and body confidence. And I got to say, yes. over the years, you've grown and it shows your confidence and your, obviously your body confidence and just doing what you do from an overall entertainment aspect. And I got to say, you got that. Yeah, it's, it's um, you have to be confident what you're doing. Yes, that's, that's that you, you got that right. Um, you have to be confident because um, if, look, I'm not perfect and it's not about being the perfect human being in front of the camera. It's about being honest, actually, uh, being honest and natural. And, and I, I always tell my, um, viewers, um, I am not perfect, but we can have fun together. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> nobody's perfect. I don't want you to think that I am perfect because I also sometimes just appear without any makeup on because I, I, yeah, it, as I said, it's not about, it's about giving a show and being, and being, uh, uh honest with your viewers. Um, and sometimes if I don't feel like giving a show, I am, out, I am sitting here talking to people, uh, giving instructions. You can, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Joy instructions. I have seen Is, that. Yes, I'm familiar with. Yes, that. so I tell people, okay, guys, I'm not gonna give a show today. I'm gonna do a different kind of thing today, because I'm in a mood in something different. And then they understand, and sometimes they stay, and sometimes they don't. So yeah. That's okay. what I like. <laughs> I, I get it. And I'll be honest with you. See, I like that just because, I mean, it's one of those things where, like, you don't, you know, this is me. I'm going to do my thing. You know, it's at least you change it up. And I'll be honest with you. You talk about the beauty aspect. Nobody's perfect. It's like that old Temptation song, Beauty's Only Skin Deep. She may be fine on the outside, but so untrue on the inside. And I can see that from your standpoint that you're as true as can be and very honest. I think you made a valid point in that front. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's... Uh, um, that's what I think it's the right way to approach when you, if you want to do webcaming, just stay true to yourself, bring some character to your shows. Um, don't, um, don't talk about personal things on your webcam shows. That's also advice that I like to give people, uh, women who, who just wants to do this or just starting because it's, it's too much information. It's too 
personal. You, you. I think if you visit a webcam show, you have to um, keep in your mind this is a, a show. I don't want to get into deep in this. You know what I mean? Yes. Just yeah. And also, um, it's important um, some technical things like um, have a good lighting. Um, have a very comfortable surroundings for yourself because if you're comfortable, you, you will um, you that will that will be visible on your cam if you're com comfortable in your surroundings. Um, yeah, All right. that's. <laughs> uh, you said it greatly, and I got to say this about you: simple, you know, simple explanation for it. And I got to say this: it's like you mentioned lighting and the work that goes into said scenes. Like for you, I'm going to say this right now: what's great about your scenes is, and we'll talk about the modeling aspect, and we'll get into the people you've worked with. But I got to say this: from the lighting aspect and the overall films that you produce, I always kind of compare it to like Bob Ross and the Joy of Painting. Because you know, as a kid, I remember coming home from school. There's Bob Ross with his little afro there. Here it is for 30 minutes. You know, he starts off with a little something, something, and it's the camera. It's the art form. He starts with a little something about a bing, bada boom. At the end of the 30 minutes, we got a masterpiece. We got mountains, we got waterfalls, we got what have you. So for you, it's one of those things where you have to have the right lighting, the right visual, and it shows within each and every one of your films. Yeah, I I, I try to learn every week something new about this because it's such a um, a ginormous big uh, information pile about lightning. Uh, microphone uh, um, you have to control the lights in your room you have to know your camera inside out um, and that's only the technical part and and you have to have a nice setup like sometimes I like to make um, like an office setting or or a bedroom setting or um, and I what's also something that I learned this couple of, um, I think last month was, uh, the background noise. When you, when you are watching a video and it's, you only hear the voice of the actors and it's maybe in an office, where is the office sounds, you know what I mean? Or yep. the street sound. And those little tiny details are making so such a big difference. And may, I don't care if it's a porno movie. I like these little things. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, it's, it's so, yeah, it's the little nuances, Lily. And I got to say yes. this, I relate to that. I mean, sometimes with podcasting and shows, you got to edit out background noise. I'll be honest with you. I live near an airport, so there's constant planes going <laughs> over the house. So I've been there. I totally get it. And it's one of those things where it's the little, like we mentioned, nuances that go within the films and the little backgrounds that you mentioned. Like, I'll be honest with you. When I see your films, whether you're doing, like I said, there's a lot of dildo action. There's belly dancing, which I got to say, I've seen you dance, belly dancing, what have you. I would like to turn up with you in the club. My goodness, you got some moves. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the, the belly dance thing was... Um... Uh, somebody ordered a lot of custom videos uh, of me belly dancing, so I it wasn't something that I was going to incorporate in my videos because it's not something that people, it's not something that is very interesting for everybody. So, but this 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 couple of people who really loved it so much that I started to doing it more and more often in combination with other fetishes that I thought it would be a good combination. So yeah, and I have now three um, belly dance outfits. So I'm very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's one of those things where we're talking about genie. I'm not talking about genie in a bottle. <laughs> hey, I'll make some three wishes. You go. You were doing your in the videos. Oh my god, did you see my video with Aroba about the genie in a bottle? Yes, I was actually about to bring that up because you worked a lot with Aruba and Aruba does amazing work. I saw that. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, that was so much fun. I um before I uh, always work with any girl, um, um, I always send like a script, the ideas that I have. But with Aruba, I had like, um, I didn't have a, a very clear idea because we were going to talk about it and I had like two days with her to shoot. And, but then I arrived, I arrived at the, um, uh, the place where we were going to shoot and I saw this genie bottle and I was like oh my god this is this is it we're gonna do something with this thing 
<laughs> and 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 I loved it because she edited that video and she put this sound effect and I it, it was amazing and it was it worked perfectly. So yeah, actually, um, the she was the first a uh, girl that I shot with, and then um, we did also uh, like um, a video how to make uh, mojitos. It's yes. a drink, yeah. And we would we also discussed actually if if I was um, we we were like if if I lived in London we would like make a, a YouTube channel where we make all sorts of drinks. <laughs> and I thought, oh, that would be such a good idea, you know, like me and her mixing cocktails and stuff. Oh my god, that would be so much fun. It but would, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it would, I'll be honest with you. It's one of those things, man, because I'm a fan of Bar Rescue, hosted by John Taffer on the Paramount Network. Man, I don't even know need to know about bar science and watching them <laughs> clean up the bars. I can just watch YouTube make mojitos and <laughs> what have you, man. It's cocktail. It's Tom Cruise just in the form of Lily and Aruba right here. I'm yeah, down. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had so much fun. I think I was, I was very tipsy when we shot a couple of videos because I was laughing so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That's moments right there. You're cherishing and making moments. That's wonderful, though. Yeah, and um, yeah, I I really love London. It has this 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 I don't know this atmosphere that brings joy to me. I don't know why because um, a lot of streets in the Netherlands uh, in the London looks exactly like the Netherlands, but there is something about London that is. That is really an experience you have to have. Um, and uh, yeah, I was going to shoot with her again, but uh, the trip got canceled because of our big uh, boyfriend, the Corona. Uh. <laughs> so that really sucked. I think it was like um, the first week that they started to close everything. That was the week that I was going to travel to London anyway. Uh, <laughs> and meet her we were going to spend like a couple of days shooting so many videos but uh well it will be postponed hey. um yeah well i gotta say this about you because during corona life i think we're all making the best of it as we are quarantined in our houses doing what we have to do and i gotta say you're like i mentioned before positively proactive for me i gotta say this about you because we were i mentioned the modeling aspect before because we got two beautiful women and yourself and aruba jasmine and yourself lily and we're going to touch upon most of the other workers that you've had as well because again quality content on your end but i gotta say this from the modeling aspect like man i was the kid i remember naomi campbell and keep it in the closet of Michael Jackson's video. I'm talking about Tyra Banks. Like from the modeling ass point, I was the kid that loved the modeling and I loved now for me, and then one of the big things out today is fat shaming. And I always bring that up because I hate it because you know everybody is beautiful the way that they are. Like you look at the plus yeah, size yeah. modeling game from Ashley Graham to Nia Jax who's in WWE. For me, I gotta say this and this is where the modeling comes in. I've seen a lot of your photos. You take great photos. You have an immaculateness about you. They're making up a word there. The voluptuosity factor, immaculate great photos all in all so i also appreciate the imagery standpoint and the modeling aspect because you take f uh, spectacular shots oh thank you i am never sure about my pictures <laughs> hey it's, 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 when, when kelly lebrock in the late 80s for those that remember the commercial don't hate me because i'm beautiful it's one of those things where it's the confidence it's the sexiness it's the sassiness it's whatever compliment that goes under the sun it's one of the things where you have whether you're to the side whether you're looking straight ahead it's one of those things where one photo encaptures your overall essence and your overall being and it's showcased well, thank you so much. <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a lot of things that people don't understand, like the modeling aspect. I mean, if you have that photo, I'll be honest with you, from the marketing standpoint, <clears throat> now I was not one of the kids that, that had a lot of adult DVDs, but I remember like vis uh, respectable sites like Girls Hunting Girls, the Naughty America franchises, and like we mentioned those scenes with like Nicole Sheridan and Willow, like every friggin' weekend, it was a porn film at like two or three in the morning, and then you had Cat House the series. Again, this is what happens when your parents aren't in the room, and then you have free time by yourself but i digress because <laughs> we've all been there 
it's, one, it's yeah. one of those things where you have the shot, you see how the dialogue of it and everything that goes into it, and that's why I love your stuff, because we were talking about storyline and storytelling, and I'm going to say this about this. People can say what they want in negative connotation about the adult entertainment industry, but it's an art form. There's storytelling, and it goes with each and every one of your films. Like, I've seen the one about seducing the mailman, and we're talking about making him an offer he can't refuse. I'll be honest with you. I'm hooked. I'm invested. I want that, I'm in that, that energy, you know? If you made me an offer, I'd be right here. Let's sit. Let's talk. Let's, chat, let's discuss it. Let's negotiate, if you will, Miss Moyers. So, hey, I understand from that aspect. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, as I, uh, with the, these uh, couple of videos, I have been thinking about them for a long time because I wanted to make the, um, as, I, uh, as I told you, I wanted to make like the video, is it a, a POV video or is it a video as a third person the camera is like the third person watching me doing the, my thing and I love that now I'm doing the my videos are like 50 50 uh, the first part of the video is more about the storyline the dialogue when you look at the video you know where this is going but you don't see erotic stuff yet and gradually in the video it will appear more and more that was my idea and at the end i love um closing the deal at the end like everything is back to normal again you know what i mean like with the with the last video i made closing the, uh, making the deal of the century i did this um the dialogue and the seduction part but very like I am in a normal setting. I'm talking to a normal person. And then I gradually start talking about, I want to close this deal. I will do everything that I, in my power to close this deal. And I, I seduce this person and, um, and then I do the, I don't, the BJ. And then at the end is like, okay, um, that's very good. Uh, we will do this every Friday. It was very nice that you signed the contract. <laughs> and let's see you later. You know what I mean? I mean, that's spot on, man. That, that's exactly what that was. And I'll be honest with you. You can say BJ. You could say blowjob. Oh, okay, okay. I'm adults. not sure. No, nah, you're fine. I'll be honest with you. We're all adults here. It happens. We could say BJ. I mean, we're not talking about BJ's Wholesale Club. We're not talking about the store. We're talking about fellatio. That is the blowjob. So you're totally fine on that end, Lily. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure okay. uh, so yeah. but yeah. i i usually i use dildos so it's also much better um uh, to place the dildo so that people can uh, have this um idea that it's uh, the postman of or the person in the office so um yeah i also think about the angles of the camera and um uh, how to cut the video. That's also very important to have a like, very um, casual video flow so you don't notice the cutting. You know what I mean? Uh, in the editing. I, well, to, just to add on to your point, I don't mean to cut you off, but it's one of those things. Like, I like the strategic part of putting the dildo in there because it encompasses, wow, you know, the, the, the penis, the genitalia, if you will. See, I'm saying the politically correct term, the genitalia, <laughs> the penis, what have you. It's one, of, it's one of those things where it's the idea, it's the presentation about that. And I noticed that with your films, but you see, I like that because I think it's a different approach. It's, it's very creative. And when you get into said films, the brainstorm and the creative juices are flowing, Miss Lily. And I think that also encompasses you within your films. And I look at it like this. I mean, you must be doing something right because I got to ask you before we even get back to a lot of people that you worked with because this is a huge honor. I mean, we're talking about Best Arab Model, Eero Award, Avian Nominee, Favorite Cam Girl, the – Oscars, the Academy Awards, the Super Bowls for wrestling, the WrestleMania, the ultimate opportunity, the ultimate grand stage, the grandeur, the pageantry, the extravagance. What is it like knowing that you are being nominated for an AVN nominee for Favorite Cam Girl and Best Arab Model for the Eero Awards, the Erotic Awards? Yeah, um, I did not see it coming, to be honest with you. I, I mean, I, I do what I love and it, and it has been an amazing year. And then I they contacted me and they said you're nominated for the avn and and i was in a running for the euro award and i was like really no no it can't be <laughs> so i then a friend of mine showed me the website and i was like 
holy shit, this is real. This is, I am, I am nominated. This is crazy. And yeah, it, it, it was amazing. I, I, it, it was so surreal. So yeah, it, <laughs> it was really amazing. Yeah. So. Hey, I, I understand you could be, you could be floored. You could be like, what? Because it's one of those things where it's surprise. It's like the suspension of disbelief because it's like, oh my God, people are tuning into what I'm yeah. doing. I am nominated for this, so I understand that. But it also mm. shows that your hard work is paying off. Yes, that was that was the thing that people really went out there and voted for me. That was the most touching thing that 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 people took the time and went to the website and voted and and then I thought, okay, you know, they nominated me, so I will put some work into this. And I started, um, um, how do you say? like promoting it on my Twitter yeah, so because before I didn't do it. <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I am very grateful that people actually voted for me and uh, that made me realize that I have to, I want to work harder to make my videos amazing, you know, amazing. Oh, yeah. So yeah. From the self-promotional standpoint, I think you rocked it and getting people out there, getting eyes on the product, getting eyes on Lily right here. You know what I'm saying? All eyes on yes. you. I'm not talking about Tupac. I'm talking about all eyes on Lily. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I think you worked it. And it's one of those things where, like for me, like I had Crystal Davis just on the show. And we got to touch upon this. The massage. I got to say this right now because a lot of people don't do this. And I I'll, I compared it with Crystal. I'll say this to you. It's like the movie Click with Kate Beckinsale and Adam Sandler. <laughs> You know, when you have sex, when you're having the overall love making, the overall passion that goes into it, you want a little massage beforehand. Just don't go right into it. You know what I'm saying? Let it build. Patience, virtue, slow right into it. Ease right on into it. So I enjoyed the scene that you and Crystal did. It was very sexual. Yeah. Just, it was great. Yeah, that was amazing. We, uh, um, that was my, and let me think, that was my um, second day shoot. Uh, we shot we shot the scene at Miles My, Long's house, and he actually filmed us. And he had this massage table, and he was he said we're gonna do a massage scene. I was like, oh, I never did that before. So I said, yeah, I, I want to do the massaging. So he was like, oh yeah, I could use a nice massage. <laughs> <laughs> so we 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 had this very good conversation with the, with each other, and we had a very good vibe. So when we start filming. It was so natural, Michael. It was so natural. We did the massage. We did everything. And then the, the Miles Long, the camera, the, the guy who filmed us, he said, oh, guys, yeah, we already shot like a half hour. And we were like, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? It was half oh, okay. That's cool. Cool, cool. It didn't feel like work. It was it was very natural. I I love the people that I work with. Every single one of them. It was during the shoot. It was very natural, um, very real, and uh, I think that's very important because you can see it. You can see it in the videos. It's not it's not a it's not a acting. It's, it's not a, it's not acting. It's very real. And that's what I think is also very important when you make the video. You do the, the I think it's fifty percent work, uh, uh, like coming up with this with the with the with the, um, uh, the storyline coming up with the with scenario. a story. Yes, with the scenario, the storyline, having a good setup, um, uh, planning your trips and all those things. But when you are together. You're doing the scene. It's about pleasure. I think that's very important. <laughs> you, you set up great. And I got to say, watching you and Crystal, I'm going to make a comparison. I'll make a film comparison. For those who have never seen it, and you should have, Seth Rogen. I'm talking about Elizabeth Banks. Zach and Mary make a porno. Now, these are two friends that have kind of had feelings for each other. So when they shoot the scene in the movie that they're trying to do, obviously, you know, they're trying to pay the bills. It's Zach and Mary. <laughs> Or no, it's one of those things where they have that intimate scene because they have had strong feelings for each other, but they've never really, you know, showcased it. You know what I'm saying? They've been friends, yeah. but once that love making there, I mean, it's one of the most impactful scenes of the movie. So I understand that because you and Crystal, I mean, it just comes natural. You just feed off one another, and it's the dynamic that the two of you have. Yes, exactly. She, I always make sure that uh, the the performer I work with is really 
bisexual and enjoys what she, uh, what she does. You know, that's so important. If she enjoys herself and she's passionate about she, what she um, does like me, then I know and I, I have never been wrong so far. Every single girl I worked with, it was very natural and yeah she was also into it like i was and that's that's what you can see um in the videos i gotta say this whether it's musa libertini whether it's anna polina who you hypnotize which i'm just gonna say this right now <laughs> that whole thing and again it plays in my mind the notorious big sometimes your words just hypnotize me <laughs> It's one of those things, like, I like videos like that, like you're hypnotizing, whether you're working with uh, Tanya and Katie Olson, whether you're working with Sin Sage, and I got to say this, you have a variety, and I'm just naming names because you have a lot of great people that are really exemplified and are really encompassed within you for the great work that you do in various scenes. So it's one of those things, like, where you could dress like a maid, you could do whatever, you know what I'm saying? You could have that... Yeah thing which i'm gonna say this right now that burglar scene i'll be honest with you you know you're kidnapping put a little hand over the mouth hey. <laughs> i mean that's cool like that's this was stuff. sensation that was, <laughs> the, the hot burglar like come on now like i i gotta say you that's great stuff like i'm hooked yes. i'm invested and it's cool it's different yeah. oh my god the scene with sensage with the burglar thing was yes. amazing and it was it was so good because I squirted, I think, all the way to the bathroom. <laughs> it was like two, oh, two three meters. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so with Sin Sage, I, know, I knew her material and I loved her material because she is so dominant. And I thought, okay, I want to be dominated by her. This is, this is the vibe that I get from her. So I, sometimes I'm submissive, sometimes I'm dominant. I, I swing both ways. It depends on the person that I work with. So with her, I felt like I want to be the, the, the submissive um, person. So uh, I sent her a couple of my ideas and she, was, she said, we're going to do this one, the one that uh, I told you about. Yep. And she said, I'm going to bring like a bottle and I act like it's a, it's some, a, a um, chromophone. Yep. Um, yes. So, uh, so we were doing the whole, and they came and they had this bag full of stuff. And she said, oh, if you're not comfortable wearing this ball, you know, the, the, the ball that you put ball. in the mouth. Yep, the yeah, ball. ball gag. I said, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to try that. I had never tried that before. So I th I said I told her I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do this one. She said, "Oh, maybe it's not comfortable." I said, "Oh no, I don't care. I think it's gonna be awesome," and it felt so good just being like dominated by her. It was the whole scene was also very natural, no cuts, just do the whole thing. <laughs> so yeah, it's That's that. Yeah, it's like, and I don't mean to cut you off, I'm sorry, but it's like one of those things, like the changing scene with Katie Olsen and Tanya, I mean, Anna Polina, the hypnotizing that I mentioned, like each and every, yes. other, whether you're submissive, whether you're dominant, uh, Lily, I gotta say this about you, like all those scenes right there really encompass you in the burglar thing, like the chloroform, the ether, just making you pass out. Like, that's a nice touch, because, I'll, and the ball and gag, because I'll be honest, the first time I ever saw him ball and gag, and people know that I'm a professional wrestling fan, go back and look at this, there was a tag team back in the day called the Basham Brothers. Brothers. And when they first came into the WWE, their gimmick was they were with Shaniqua, who was portrayed by Linda Miles. And this woman had the uh, whip. She was dressed like a dominatrix, and they wore the ball and gag. It was like an s &M type of gimmick, and their finishing maneuver was called the ball and gag, you know, the, the tag oh. team. Move. So wow. it's one of those okay. things where we see that encompassed in, like, wrestling or what have you, in pop culture and society, because it's something that people are into. Yeah, I, I mean, I had never tried it. And as I said at the beginning, I am... I like trying new things. Uh, you're open. A, yeah, I am open to try new things, talk about new things. If I don't like it, yeah, I don't like it. If I like it, yeah, let's try some more of this stuff, <laughs> you know? But with the with the scene with Anna Polina, we, ha we had dinner and we talked about the whole thing. We were going to do um, a public uh, flashing thing at uh, um, in front of the Eiffel Tower. So... It, we had so much fun showing ourselves in public. It was so exciting. It was crazy exciting. <laughs> and we were, thank God, there were no, not many people. So uh, nobody saw us as, as far as I can tell. <laughs> but we, 
<laughs> it was so much fun, like having the camera there with the Eiffel Tower behind us and flashing our tits and touching each other a little. And um, yeah, it, unfortunately, the park was closed that day because there was a lot of uh, yellow vest demonstrations. Otherwise, we'd have, we, we would, could have made more stuff. And then we went to the uh, hotel room and uh, we, we wanted to shoot some more. Uh, videos and I was think I was thinking the whole time what can we uh, what kind of um, storyline can I come up with and she was laying on the bed and I was thinking hmm you know <laughs> I can be <read> this <laughs> hypnosis thing well you see the manager right there because hey you know you're getting very very sleepy oh, oh my god and there yeah. you go. Then you go right into it. So you see, that's a great approach, though, because you never know because how people are and how their minds work. You can actually see possibly, you know, in real life, maybe a hip hypnotist or something like that yeah. kind of taking advantage of his work. I mean, we've seen it. I mean, crazy things have happened in this world. So, I mean, it's it's a nice approach. I'm going to give you that. <laughs> so, yeah, it was also, it was so funny. It was, like, spontaneous. And she was like, oh, okay, yeah, let's do that. Sounds like fun. And, uh, yeah. We, the, uh, word, the spontaneity of it. Yeah, we didn't have much stuff. I have to be honest. I I didn't have my um, camera that I now bought. I have a very good camera now, so we had to do it with the phone. And the lightning was not very. The light was not good at all. But <laughs> we did something. <laughs> <laughs> right now, and I'll mention the names again: Katie Olson, Tanya, Anna Polina, Aruba Jasmine, Sheena Rose, Crystal Davis, Sahara Knight, also. Sahara yeah. Knight. That's another one. By the way, I got to say this. That's another one, too, because Sahara is another beautiful woman. You two is another one, whether it yeah. be the voluptuosity of your breasts and just the overall scene. You guys nailed that out of the park. Yeah, it was so much fun shooting with Sahara. She is so into the the erotic, passionate sex thing that it was also very natural with her. We had a very uh, good cameraman, and he shot the whole scene beautifully and uh yeah it was very very nice to meeting her and we still are in contact so who knows maybe in the future i can make some more videos with her if i'm in london and uh yeah and um uh, i think also the combination do we still have time michael i don't know <laughs> we have a couple more minutes go ahead you're fine i'm, I'm listening to you I'm, i'll be honest with you folks i'm gonna say this right now because she's making me laugh and i'm dying here it's one of those things where i got notes and i'm very flow you know flowing with it half me full flowing it with it and then you have notes here so please i'm free flowing with it. there's the word i'm free flowing okay. so go ahead i'm here to listen to you go ahead so yeah I think the combination between me and her, it was, as she said, was so beautiful and uh, very passionate. I think she loved the fact that uh, I was really into the scene like her. Um, it's not, as I said, during the scenes, I am not about work at all. It's all about the sexual part. <laughs> and uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I wanted to do a spanking video with her and she was I thought, oh man, this woman can spank very hard. <laughs> but then I met Sin Sage and I was like, holy shit, this is fucking hard spanking. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's one of the things where I'll be honest, spanking videos, because I'll be honest with you, so, I mean, it's, it's again, it's preferences. Some people like spanking, some people don't. But when I saw those two spankings, my God, hello. You know, just a little, put a little slap on that, a little sound effect. I mean, that was, that was those were two hell of a slaps that y'all got, man. Oh, my God. I love that. I, 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 I always had this fantasy of, of spanking. And now I had I have now two videos of spanking, ass spanking. So I am, I can die a happy woman. So <laughs> hey, just just checking off the bucket list, you know, dude. Exactly. <laughs> See, I can appreciate that though. That's very cool. And a lot of guys, again, whether it be in the sexual nature, a lot of guys like to spank. You know, a little harder action. It really goes through with the overall passion that is sexual intercourse. I mean, I yeah. get it, and you get to do the spanking aspect. But for me. Ah, it's one of those things because I mentioned you dressing as a maid or doing like POV videos, like you mentioned dildos. I think there's yeah. one I think with a cucumber in it, if I remember correctly. Looking oh my at my god! <laughs> well, okay. 
Now, I'm uh, curious about this. And the only reason why I ask this is because I see, again, Guy, I'm aware of, of, of certain things that you see on the Internet as a young teenager and to an adult. I'm 28 years old, for God's sake, two years shy of 30. So I am. <laughs> and you see a lot in your young life and you're just like, OK, and then you take it in. You take it in and you absorb it like a sponge, like a sponge. Friggin, I got to <laughs> say this to you and I'm trying not to laugh as I say this. It's one of those things where I noticed that a lot of, you know, females or whatever videos, there's a lot that encompass food in there. But yes, the, the one with the cucumber, I was actually kind of curious about that. <laughs> so um, actually it was, uh, I think it was in 2014 or something, 15, that I made this video and I was in a supermarket and I know I had a conversation with uh, one of my friends about using cucumbers and stuff and I saw this beautiful cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was not this perfect shape. <laughs> and 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 the cucumbers in the Netherlands are are, are really ginormous. So <laughs> you don't have cucumbers like that in other other countries. Only in the Netherlands you have these big cucumbers with a perfect size. So yeah, and I I I love doing anal. It's one of the things that I um, masturbated from very young age so <clears throat> that was my thing and i um i thought oh what the hell let's try it and uh, i and it has this, it was very long so i had good grip <laughs> it's very important <laughs> and uh, yeah i did that and then uh, it was uh, football season so they had this a lot of commercials of, of beer bottles and i got inspired also by a beer bottle so i used also a beer bottle naturally so, I, I like the way that you use the verbiage of you got to get a good grip on it i, I just did there so it's one of those things where, it's what it is too and i mean i'm as a, i can say this and i'm sure whatever country that you're in and like i said you you from the netherlands and you're doing your thing being the beautiful talent that you are from an international standpoint and just what you've done i gotta say that's much respect on your front again i, I love you as a whole overall being thank but you so I, much oh uh, you're so welcome but i gotta add to this because you're you're cracking me up i'm oh, i gotta keep my composure this one talk <laughs> Now, cucumbers and beer bottles over there. A nice trip. Yo, it's it's one of those things where I understand it because Jerry Springer and people I think will know where I'm going with this. Jerry Springer, besides the fact that you have cheating on the show and these outrageous fights, they would do stories and like I'll be honest with you, some people's fetishes were very weird. And I'll, I'll put it like this: it was kind of weird because there was one instance where like a woman kind of like had sex with like the washing machine, like she would sit. <laughs> Washing machine and pleasure herself. We're yeah. Like, okay, if that's what you do, God bless you. But then there's also one of the other things where a lot of people would get satisfaction of like pouring flour on themselves and like you mentioned, like the cucumbers and like different food accessories, if you will. So I understand yeah. things like this. I mean, I'll be honest with you, as a kid, like I didn't know how to make of this because there's this woman with high heels and she's putting like the point of the high heel down in the nether regions, if you will. And again, like as like a 15 or 16 year old boy, I'm like, what? But then I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's not the fetish. It's I did the cucumber because from a very young age, I couldn't. I came not from a restrictive culture that I couldn't go out and just buy a dildo. So oh. I used whatever it was <laughs> in reach. <laughs> so that's how this is started. <laughs> Okay, so now we got to talk about this. Now I'm gonna say, <laughs> see, I understand about different cultures. I, I, okay, now, now that you put it that way, I understand where you're coming from. But what, what's enamored me about this is again the beer bottle, the whole nine there. So I mean, there's different, dare I say, accoutrements that you can use from a uh, from an from a uh, accessory standpoint, if you will. So, but yeah, yeah. No, I, I gotta, I gotta say that because I mean, it's it's interesting, it's different, and like I said, I'm putting out the content for the people, and like I mentioned, the maid outfit. Going back to that, because I remember as a young kid, like I'll be honest with you, I was the kid that loved pop music, like when Britney Spears hit me, baby, one more time, <laughs> and like yeah. 98, like. Guys like the naughty schoolgirls. They like like the bookworms. They like the maids. They like girls dressing in sexy outfits. I mean, I'm going to say this right now. You made a great maid. Thank you. <laughs> Very uh, obedient, right? <laughs> yeah. 
I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I'm all for it because there's a lot of things that guy like from foreplay, from role play, from different outfits that we like. And I'll be honest with you. It's an attraction. It's something that we're into. But for me, I'll be honest with you. I'm that I'm like that traditional guy. I don't care whatever you're wearing. I'm just looking as the person. Beautiful. It's wonderful from the physical appeal. But I'm also on that emotional side of things and then overall personality. So, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'll say this about yourself. And a lot of women have that total package, that, that package about them. I know you didn't say perfect, but I'll add the perfect package to it, a little piece. <laughs> squared action no you got that and i like that and that's why i appreciate you but it's one of those things where like whatever you're wearing whatever from the outerwear standpoint it has that physical appeal and it gets dare i say hormones raging it gets guys excited it gets guys emotionally and then physically invested in your overall time and your energy so i mean it encompasses a lot yeah i thank you i i i really appreciate you saying that yeah because i i really love what i do and i also put a lot of energy and time into making my videos you so, do like i said yeah. just, just keep laughing on those videos as well you got an infectious laughter you're making <laughs> this entire interview yeah, yeah, you're fun that's good it is. i gotta say you're fun that that's the most important thing you're fun you are a fun human being like i said i, I thank I, you I, so I, much you're yeah so welcome but you no you too Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I've been trying to keep it like straight and professional, but once we mention cucumbers, it just goes off the rails. But no, nah, that's that's what's great about this. We get to we get to shoot the breeze and have a fun conversation. I have a couple of final things I do want to add, and I'm actually going to put the overture in here, Miss Lily. Anytime you want to come back on the show, you're more than welcome. It's really been a blast oh, you today. Thank you. I will. I will definitely will. Maybe we can make a more video, more another interview in the future. Oh, hey. I would love to. Ah, uh, you're welcome. I gotta say this right now because, like, from Crystal Davis, from everybody that you worked with, we touched upon a lot of names. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you and who else you work with. Yes, I can't wait either. I have a couple of names. Uh, one got canceled because of the corona <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> Let me ask you, because that's what the follow-up, I actually meant to ask you before we get into our social media plugs and the final questions here, how's life treating you during Corona? Because we talk about being positively proactive. What What's life for you during this uh, time, this tough time that is uh, quarantine and COVID? Um, well, the only thing that really changed is the I had to cancel my trips and I really can't go to the gym. Oh. <laughs> Have you been doing, like, the home gyms like a lot of people are doing? Do you have, like, a home yeah, gym? Yeah. Okay. No, no, I don't have a home gym. I just do my – I just do some routines here in the house without um, uh, without exercise machines. So just oh. stay just stay a little bit in shape, yeah. Hey, man. And I'm... a lot of belly dancing. Oh, I was about to say, man, <laughs> this girl beat me to the punch. Like I said, do some dancing, do some belly dancing. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Genie in a bottle, rub you the right way. Dream, I dream a genie. Put on some Aladdin in the background. Hey, it's a party. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't need this uh, body pump stuff. <laughs> hey, man, you don't have to pump you up and get a little waste and stuff. Just dance. Have some fun with it. Maybe break dance, pop, lock, and drop. We'll be here all day. A little exactly. hot outside. Electric slide. Hey, she knows what's up. You're a good time. You know what's up. Yeah. You're good. Have your own club. You don't even know, need to go to the club. Your own house club. Put on some DJ. Oh. <laughs> hey, I see it. All right. Yeah. I love your energy. I really do. And I got to say this about you because um, what's great about this show is we get to inspire and encourage a lot of people. And I always got to say this. Do you have any advice if anybody wants to get in, you know, the adult entertainment industry like you have from the camming aspect, the modeling aspect, the overall films? Do you have any advice for anybody that wants to pursue a career in it? Yeah, well, as I said, um, make a list for yourself, the pros and the cons. Um, go on the websites, read everything they're putting out there, uh, information about their websites, how they're treating their models. Look at um, uh, forums where other models uh, give reviews to the websites. Um, when you give the show, stay true to yourself, stay natural. Don't try to imitate other girls. Be yourself and um, enjoy yourself. That's important. Yeah. <laughs> you said, Lily, and I got to say this. I didn't get a chance to use this line before because, again, coming from the lawyer field, and I just want to say this to you. If anything, I plead the fifth. I just had to get that out there. I plead. <laughs> 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 I have to say, I we we it it it's, the time went very fast. I wanted to talk about other performers, but 
<laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> okay, well, if there's anything else that you want to add before we close out, go ahead. Well, it was... Um, uh, I loved the scene that I did with uh, Crystal Davis and Shelby that's going to come up... Uh, uh, I will release it in a few in a couple of months. It's gonna be a threesome. That's gonna be amazing. And uh, I also loved the scene with Sheena Rose. She can give an amazing. Uh, sorry, my dog is barking at. <laughs> it, okay, man, we'll be on here. Where my dogs at? Arf, arf, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So she gives the most amazing deep throats. I was completely blown away by that. Um, yeah, and um, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to visit the U.S. again and shoot more stuff with this girl. It's amazing. And uh, thank you're you so much, Michael, for oh, having you're me. You're welcome. You actually stole my follow-up. I was going to say any upcoming events or any upcoming scenes, and you actually hit it spot on, so you beat me to the punch again. So thank you. And uh, this is where I step back as well. Twitter, Instagram, where people can follow you, your many vids, only vids, the website. Go ahead, Crystal. The floor is yours. So, um, um, you can uh, go to my Twitter mm -hmm. and if you go to, uh, my biography, I have all my links there. I have many vids, um, um, fan central, um, only fans. Um, I only give show, uh, live shows on two websites. Um, it's, uh, X models and club is live. Um, and um, if you visit my show and I'm speaking Dutch, please say to me that <laughs> I need to switch to English. <laughs> it's not a problem. Don't okay. be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask. I will switch immediately. But because most of my uh, people who visit me on my shows speak Dutch, so I, I yeah, I, if, if somebody is there who speaks English, I always switch to English because most Dutch people speak English anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so, the links to social media, this will be in the description. I just got to say to you, first and foremost, your English is excellent, by the way. You have great English. And second, <laughs> you're all, and second of all, don't, people don't hesitate to ask. She will speak. Yeah. I like. I but, will speak English, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, you mentioned the great scenes, Lily, and I got to say, I, I'm going to leave it at this. I truly wish you nothing but continued success and happiness always. You do amazing films, which we discussed today. You gave great insight on getting into the adult entertainment industry, and I got to say, I can't wait to work with you again. And, uh, Thank finally, you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, do you have any final words for your uh, fans? I've been supporting you since day one. Any final words for the fans, Lily? Um, yes, I want to thank you all so much for voting for me and uh, all those likes and retweets and nice wishes. I'm, I don't get to answer all of them, but I try to read as much as I can. And um, I hope that I can make this more videos in the future and make you all very happy. And don't forget you can uh, visit my Pornhub. I have sometimes free stuff there. Um, and um, yeah, stay healthy, stay safe, enjoy life, and everything comes and goes. <laughs> <laughs> See, again, with the beautifully said, the abyss, man, the philosopher that is really <laughs> over here. I got to say this about you first and foremost. Last thing I will say, I always add this with each and every show, which we encompassed earlier in the show. Beauty, strength, and dominance are three key elements to make women the work of art that they are. And Miss Lily, you are a true work of art, and I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Michael. You're welcome. For Lily, my name is Mike Larkin. This concludes another edition of On the Mic with Mike, and we will talk to you in the next episode. Have a great day, everyone.